Good day, folks! Welcome back to Space Engineers on the Australia Gaming server once again. Hope you're doing well. And we're at the space station from where we were last time. As you can see, I'm just, just spawned to the server in my own ship, the Portable X Niner. So just gonna hop out of it. So, unfortunately, I read uh, something sad, uh, basically the server owner, or the manager, said that there will be a reset coming uh, during August. So, now I have uh, limited options now. I want to get the carrier built, and then try to at least raid the base, or raid the faction that, well, basically try to raid us. Yeah, limited goals because the server's going to get reset so I mean even after that we could just start again I don't know second season or just continue from there I don't know we'll see anyways I've got some goals for this episode so I want to do some mining get some ice test out the uh, the jewels I have and uh, look around this space station because the uh, portal did add some more decorations because last time I checked or on camera there wasn't anything. So yeah, I'll go have a check again. And then after that, I'm going to start projecting the carry and start building it. So yeah. That's what I'm going to do. So hopefully it's not too dark this time. Anyways, before we get started, i got uh, a friend of mine. A friend of mine in the, uh, in the Discord chat. I was, I was talking with him before, but I don't want to end the conversation due to a recording session. And I need to sleep soon. So yeah, anyways. So, say hello, Jamek. Hello. To the viewers, just saying. Hello. <laughs> so, you're not in this server, so you're just talking about Elite Dangerous. Yeah, I was. Okay. So I was just basically explaining what I wanted to do. Like, I wanted to do mining and then construct my carrier. I wanted to build. So I'll get that started. Yeah. So I unfortunately make... cannot join those PC problems. Yeah, well, once you get your new PC, you'll be able to get space engineers. And by the way, will you get space engineers? I will do my best. Yes. Okay. Uh, I'm not forcing okay. you, but it's your choice. So. I can see. You're welding something. Yeah, I'm just getting materials yeah. for the. Uh... Something I want to do. I'll just look around. Uh... Portal Space Station, they just decorated. I had a look at this before, but it uh, wasn't decorated at the time I was there. So, anyways. Well, Is this one of your favourite? Sorry? Yeah, it's one of my friends. Uh, Is this portal. One of That's who made this. If I had space engineers, I would have lots of different rooms and have <laughs> airlocks in case of a breach, in case of a breach of a certain system, so you wouldn't immediately get all US sucked out. Uh, I'm on a multiplayer server, and uh, oh, I had a base and it got raided by some place. Not completely. It was a play for attack though, but if I, I, it felt like a real raid to me. Basically, they just uh, scavenged what they could from you. Yeah. So yeah, Porto, I really like the decorations. Looks sehr nice. Okay, so now... I want to go for a mining run to get some ice. Because that's the only fuel source I have. So, John, I'll just show you my ship right here. Ooh. It's called the Porto X-9. It's something I had in my imagination. Uh, because, well, you can call my imagination weird, but uh, for a few years I had this image of like flying a ship that looked like a phone, and this was the <coughs> entrance. I, I don't know why. So, I just like the design. Okay, so this is. So where are your, where are your uh, input buttons? My what? Input buttons. Where's your uh, text screen? Did you put any numbers? Rooms, numbers. I don't understand. Do you have numbers on the underside of your 
a ship saying one, two, three, four, as in a coolie. No, 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 it doesn't have number plates. <laughs> no. no, 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 it's got these little uh, beacons and stuff you can see. That's what it has. Yeah. Let's close this look. Yeah, what do you think so far? Hello? I'm here, yeah, I said it's alright. Oh, I didn't hear you. Uh, really need to get those uh, scripts so I can make the doors close automatically. So, what, not like, like, a three like an elite like dangerous. Three late, right? Sorry? Yeah. Yeah, so what you were saying about elite dangerous? Oh, uh, yeah. So. It's different from Elite Dangerous, you can actually like look around instead of having just the cockpit, right? And oh no, could... there is an option in the menu to engage uh, a... Yeah, I, I don't know which button it is, though. Yeah. That was a bit loud. Look my landing gear. Connected to an external landing pad. No, it's. Uh, I need to convert it to a ship. Oh. Oh god. Oh no, it's all good now. I just have this camera next to the. Uh, <laughs> next to the connector. I tried to use a connector, but the landing gear only worked. The connector wouldn't work. Uh, you can have shields in this game. There's mods, by the way. Love you. So there I am, taking off. Going towards the Astros. Uh, see, see the planets there? That's that's more one called the Solar Base. 165 kilometers away. That's my. Uh, that's called Triton. You're you on the ice. You're on the ice moon. Uh, yeah, yeah. Ice moon of Neptune, but there's no Neptune though. <laughs> Sounds like you said Neptune. Uh, no, I Neptune. Yeah. I say things a bit differently in English. Like it happens when you learn a language like German. Yeah. At least we weren't planted on your anus, though. Ha 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 ha. The planet Uranus, yeah. Uh, like that joke is like so old, yeah. It is very old now. <laughs> well, I guess you got a lot of thrust to get there. Yeah, I only have to, only have to use the iron thrusters. I'm just using hydrogen as an extra. Oh yeah, I'll show you the jump drive. Uh, eight kilometers. Here we go. Are you burning any fuel? We're just letting it slowly slow down. Uh, I'm just using PL for iron thrusters. Oh. <laughs> there I am. Nice. Does that consume any sort of fuel at all to do that? No, no, no it's, it's power, not fuel. The jump drive only costs power, that's nice. Yeah. And you can get solar panels just to recharge, right? Uh, you can use uh, uranium for reactors. You can use hydrogen engines using hydrogen. You can use batteries, solar panels, uh, windmills. So, so you can obviously land on solid objects, but what about Saturn and Jupiter and all the gas giants? Can you? Uh, the you only planets you have in the original star system of space on this. You have the Earth-like with the Moon, you got Mars with Europa, an alien planet with the uh, Triton. you got the Moons with the incorrect planets. Uh, yeah, it doesn't have every planet in the solar system, but there are mods you can use in the workshop. You add them, but it costs a lot of rendering, I guess. Yeah, yeah, just... Extra load time for the save, though. I was thinking of making a series, though, survival series, just, you know, just running around the solar system. 
Yeah, I was actually thinking of making a movie in Space of the News. Movie? Ooh. Yeah. So what, like, uh, you have a script and we all follow it? Like, you, you're some kind of a pyro <laughs> we try to kind of find you and well, interrupt here's you. Here's the thing, right? I'm, I'm a content creator, right? So therefore I have some skill of editing, right? Yeah. And I did try making a movie of uh, Gary's mod with all the best parts from Gmod content put together, but that's obviously unprofessional. But I do think, because I can make trailers, right? And make them look mm -hmm. cool, right? But for a movie, I, I think I could create scripts. Fair enough. Yeah. Or would you, what would you rather do? A script? Or a bit of roleplay aspect in there as well. Like, you have to adapt to the situation. Hmm. I'm not sure what you mean by that. <laughs> Basically, say you're mining and I'm a pirate coming along. You would have to adapt to the situation by either trying to tank all the shots or running away. Or uh, trying to it's, not, it's not a roleplay. It would just have to be script made. Yeah. And I'll ask my friends for like, what what do you think? You know, which character you want to make and stuff. I, do, I just, I just think because space in this, you can do so much, right? There's so much emptiness. Um, so I just thought, yeah, space, space in this, it does have campaign scenarios. Yeah. And you can have uh, space spells and stuff. So I was thinking, yeah, make a movie, but not right now. Sometime in the future, you're saying. Yeah, well, not, not a legit movie, though. Just something that looks like a movie, like fan-made or something. So I'm in the server. It's called Australia Gaming. It's an Australian server. I've got this faction called the Austra um, the Adventurous, Ex Adventurous Expeditionary Group. I was thinking of a name, but I just thought, you know, this, uh, this something sounds peaceful. But obviously, we're not that peaceful now since we got attacked. But the, only those players who are in the Bricks faction... Uh, well, they saw the only reason they found my base was because I was providing content, you know, and sharing the links into the Discord oh. server. And they just wanted to have a play oh, for attacked. Awesome. So they kind of knew where you were and found you out. Oh, I was on, I was on try. Oh, you, you have a raid on the top right, but that's a mod, and you could see signals, right? But it was yeah. uh, Titan is small though. So you were there when it happened, or were you offline at that point? No, I was there at the base. Like, well, I mean, uh, JTM. You know who he is? I think so. Yes. Okay. Well, he basically warned me in Portal that there was an a, a raid coming, and I took it seriously, you know, because I'm that type of guy. Yeah. And so I asked. Uh, I'm I asked the... uh, sorry. I'm the sort of person that would pack up and keep myself out there. Like I would say. Bye, you're not going to see us and literally use all engines to move somewhere else. Well, that's what Just I wanted to do. <laughs> no, I would have gone against what everybody wants and say, if you're if you're staying here and want to get raided, I'm leaving. If you're surprised, I'm leaving. I'll give you the calls later. I don't trust any of you. I'm going to leave. Why can I only go 98 meters a second? Do the developers change that? Are you going... You can't be experiencing drag, can you? No, I think the developers did something. Yeah. Okay, I'll just stick at 90 meters a second. I don't know what's going on there. You can have it 150, it's a mod for it by the way. But yeah, I was... I wanted to ask help, so I asked uh, Dom, uh, he, he joined the faction, I was like, I want to get this out of here, I want to get this carrier built. Um, and uh, that's until like, we, we saw like, ships 40 kilometers up about above our base. And it was really weird. Uh, because we had like, ships, random ships fall from the sky. Uh, we had, there were so many AI battles around us. Um, I was I was trying to get uh, I was trying to use my minor uh, 
bring Don with me up to space to start rocket the ship. But for some reason, it kept moving around. I don't, I don't know why it did. That's what I, what I, I, I saw. I don't know, maybe I was just seeing things. It was really weird, and then eventually... I'm getting signals of my... of the grids getting attacked, and that's basically the, the base. You know, the, the, the grids of all yeah. the blocks. I'm asking JTM for help on that, because he's the expert of the server. I mean, no, I, I just call him expert, because he knows a lot. And he says, uh, just leave it, just leave it alone. But it's like, well, every time I leave the base, it keeps coming up. So it must be players just waiting for me to leave in the attack. So I come back, it's all fine, and I leave again, it happens again. So I leave it, and then when I'm like, about to get out of the gravity, uh, and then all the grids start saying, okay, all your stuff is being under attack, and I come back, and then and I, see see tank, I, mean, I see a tank, I see a tank like in the base, and I, tr I just ram my miner straight into it. It wasn't funny though, it wasn't that bad. Mm. I, I can see a thing. sort of hey, I can see a sort of shield around it. Is that the shield you're talking about? Yeah, the shield. Looks like a beam. Yeah. So, can enemy ships pass through it, or is it only weapons? That I know, they'll just bounce off it. You need weapons to take it out. You got like a lot of rail guns. This is really cool. So, enemy ships will just bounce off the shield, correct? Uh, yeah, even players. I mean, not just bouncing; they'll just take a lot of damage. Go. So yeah, if you see episode nine of uh, of the series, you, you would see what I mean. And I only got really frustrated when I couldn't like like lift the ship. I mean, fly it out of there because it was stuck. Because there was a grid uh, bug. I mean, you had to convert to ship, but I didn't have the option. So, yeah. It was disappointing. Bad. And I started from scratch. And then, funny enough, I received help from one of the guys who attacked us. <laughs> so I'm now like, oh, should I raid? It's like, no, no, no. And he also gave me the coordinates to their base. So I'm like, oh, now I have a reason. And yeah, the carrier, the giant. The one with uh, the um, yeah, an aircraft on it. Yeah, it's meant to like a, a space carrier. Yeah, fighters on it. It's not the best idea, yeah. but it's something I just wanted to do. I was actually building it in the second season of Space and News on the La on the Latvian server, until some crazy maniac had to destroy the entire thing because of a few little things I said. Ugh. Paul can tell you about that. There's even a rover I want to build as well. Ooh. Yeah, there's a big rover that has like, this little crane on it, and I'm building a ship that can actually carry it, but it's a big one, obviously, the one I have. Okay, now I'm going to use the projector. Uh, get the blueprints. Uh, make sure I select the right one. Should be this one. Hello? Here, yeah, yeah, I'm watching. Oh, no, 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 I'm just responding to the projector because it didn't do it. Uh. Oh. Oh, there we go. And it's oh. set correctly, however, I would like to have it point the other way. There we go. No, I'll just. Yeah. This is all portal stuff. He's got, he's got like four ships come to a space station. What do you think of it, though? It's like this little. Nice. Um, yeah, I really Armada. Like, like a little Armada. Yeah. Yeah, I was actually... I was talking about this on one of the, uh, my release, recent video of Space... Uh, not Space... Uh, Elite Dangerous. There was a, a, a yeah. Starbase... Ooh, look at that! Is it? The big AI ship over there. Uh, yeah, so I was talking about... Uh, there was an, uh, there's a uh, Starbase with an asteroid. A star base inside an asteroid, and I was thinking of making one of those if I could find a big enough asteroid. You know which one I'm talking about? It's, it's one of the things. It's, it's 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 like a star base, you know, 
but it, it's inside an asteroid. I haven't encountered that. I haven't encountered that system for what's it called? I it's near it's near the where the new players are. It's it's near the claw station. Or the near hole. the spawn system. Yeah, it's it's somewhere near there. Was it in your first or second video? Um, it's I think it's in the sec. Yeah, it's in the second one. Okay. Nine. Oh, these are the nanobots you were talking about, correct? Yeah, they're called the, the they're called bars. Oh god, I got a wish to limit. God damn it! There's a limit for each of these. I got only can oh, have yeah. five. You can only have five. Perfection. Ah. Oh. Yeah, I know, right? It's for seven before. The server restarts every six hours. Well, it's constructing it. So let's go take a look at the, the planets. So that one there, the world, the, the small one I was at, the one next to it, that's the mm -hmm. water world. That's a modded planet. And that big one there, the gas giant, that's got rings. Uh, that's not, well, it's not actually there, but it is. You just can't land on it because the side of it is too big to, to actually oh. be a planet. So you just like kind of go through it or just fades when you go near it, I think. I don't know how it'll work because I've never been so close to it. But yeah, it's just one it's of those things with decorations. I might have yeah. to go near the gas giant once. Uh, the one over there looks like a ring because the sunlight. Uh, the, I think that's Pertum. I haven't been there. But look, look at the edge. You see those ones that are slightly more lighter? I mean, ones that aren't built? Yeah. If you go to the edge, there's like light grey section. And not that edge, the edge of being built. The center of the ship. Right so that light grey there, would you say that's the ones that are being built right now then? When you're standing in. Yeah. That's the next ones to be built. But it shows you like that. Because it doesn't just build in a spot where there's nothing connected. It must build continuously where there's a block. Here is. Ah. That's how it works. So yeah. Anyways. As I'm going to check the time. I think I should get off now. And I'll stay up too late. Probably already have. Anyways. Alrighty, well, my cure is slightly getting built there, so I'm going to have any troubles this time. Hopefully I can get it done. And then uh, next episode, I'll be able to go back to Triton and see if the base is still there. And yeah, and then check out the water world, and then the gas giant. And then come back to base, and we got some more plans. Anyways, so yeah, like, again, like I said, thanks for watching. Uh, there's a Discord link below, you can join that. Uh, and if you did enjoy, remember to leave a like and subscribe to tune to the series. And I shall see you next time in another video. So until then, have a good day.